Hey guys, how's it going? It's Harrison with Mainly Acres Farms. Thanks for tuning in. folks it's Harrison with Mainly Acres and today we are smoking the catch of the day so uh, I just wanted to show you the little smokehouse that I put together and show you how it works we have uh, just a regular standard barbecue pit uh, inside of it I've started a uh, bed of coals and we have a whole bunch of green um, cherry I'm sorry uh, green apple wood and I just cut that here on the back of the property and I have a nice pile of it here to keep it going I have just some uh, inexpensive uh, dryer vent uh, ducting and I have that ran into the bottom of the smokehouse here and you guys can see I took a plank of wood off of our uh, picnic table and that was allow the vent to come right up underneath and we'll open it up and I'll show you guys inside here the vent down there putting the smoke through so it's kind of a cool smoke you guys can see i have some uh, birch limbs that i've cut to size and those are the uh, shelving that i have in so we'll close that up and let it build up some more smoke um, a real simple design just built with some materials that we had around the homestead and i'll show you the back here pretty much the same stuff and uh, on the top nothing fancy just a corner of the piece of plywood that sits on top has the corner cut out and that's uh, what makes the draw of the smoke you guys can see it's uh, smoking pretty good the only way I can think to make this better is to uh, cut the legs on the barbecue pit so that way it can drop lower and have the natural flow as you guys can see it kind of goes down and then comes back up um, it works for what we're using it for, um, but a better design if you guys were going to do it yourselves uh, would it be to make sure that your uh, firebox is lower than your smokehouse and you'll have a natural draw. You guys can see there's quite a bit of smoke we're losing just around the pit. But I will get to what we're going to be smoking. We're going to be smoking some mackerel. So uh, what I've done, pull one of these out is I cut the head off, ran a fillet knife all the way down up his tail, took all the guts out, and then I soaked them uh, overnight in a saltwater brine. Then I, um, this morning I woke up, took the salt water out, filled it up with fresh water, and they've been soaking in um, fresh water now for about three hours. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these out, I'm going to pat them dry, put them on the rack, and I'll get right back with you. Alrighty folks, so I got my towel, got the uh, macro in front of me, and we're gonna pat them dry and put them on the shelving in there. The reason why we're gonna pat them dry is so that way the smoke can penetrate the meat and get to it faster. It won't have to wait for it to dry before the smoke starts penetrating. So it just helps it along a bit faster. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take an old towel and we're going to uh, pat them dry and throw them on in. Crack the door open on there. Pull them out just like so. Kind of shake them off, drip dry. I'm gonna pat them dry on the outside and on the inside here. And then we're gonna take him, open him up like so, and lay him flat down on the rack. Give you guys a close up what they look like in the inside all filleted open and the striping there on the skin alrighty so they're all padded dry and on the racks so I'll bring you guys in for a up close look you guys can see smoke's pouring in from the bottom there have a couple boards in the back blocking off the rest of that air hole down at the bottom well you guys can see I have the racks there front and back front and back on the back there and I have another rack but I ran out of mackerel so we're good to go I'm like I said I'm gonna smoke these for probably two to three days 
um, just come out every now and again and throw a handful of uh, green apple wood in there you guys can see you can pretty much you know fill it up pretty good and then uh, kind of control um, how fast or how hot it burns by you know your air holes down on the bottom so there's a little fiddling with it here in the beginning but once you have it dialed in it's pretty much on autopilot and that will go for three days um, the larger one I'm gonna pull out in the next day or so and uh, put him on our other barbecue pit and grill him up so that's it you guys can build yourselves a real inexpensive smokehouse this is a really good one we've used this one now for going on five years um, we uh, use this back in the day when we raised pigs and now we use it for all the fish that we bring home and it's a uh, real easy design this is just some rough cut two by fours for the actual box frame um, clear boards down one side plywood down the other and a, a good way to make sure you cut a good door is go ahead and put install your hinges on and then cut the door out mm -hmm.